Hi folks, over the next few minutes, I'll take you through a live demo of how to accelerate and automate data movement from any relational database to the Databricks Lakehouse with Fivetran. We have a wide range of databases of source deployment options. We cover all databases and we've got hundreds of sources available across apps, files, and events. Search for Oracle, for instance, you start getting a sense for the range of options that we have, Oracle on-prem, Oracle is a cloud service. Same kind of thing for SAP. We support ECC and S4 HANA SAP applications along with any of the databases that SAP supports. Today, what I would like to do is set up a Postgres SQL database connector. And just like with Oracle and SAP, there are a lot of Postgres options available. I've got a database that I'd like to use in my Google Cloud Postgres SQL instance, so I'll select that. Fivetran Technical Docs does an outstanding job of mixing detailed instructions with an easy to follow outline. You see that in the right gray nav. I choose my schema name and provide database authentication information along with the Postgres database that I want to connect to. We also provide a lot of options and flexibility for connecting to a database source so that you can match that to your networking and security requirements within your organization. Also, Fivetran automatically sets up for incremental updates and change detection and depending on the database and the type of Fivetran connector I'm using, I have varying options including log-based replication, both logical and physical, as well as log-less or log-free detection. I'm going with X-Men today. From there, Fivetran is going to run the connection tests. It's important to note that we don't move any data without encryption in place. You see that I'm going to select a TLS certificate here. That's what we use to encrypt data end-to-end -end for any data in motion. You can also see we're running a variety of connection tests in the background. 99.97 availability for our connectors. Once we're green lighted and all connection tests are good, then we're going to fetch the source schemas that we have access to in that Postgres industry database. For this database, I have access to 11 schemas, Ag, Energy, FinServe, Healthcare. I don't want to move all of these to the Databricks Lakehouse. I can block any schemas, tables, and columns very simply and quickly. The data app I'm building today, I just want the Ag and Energy schemas. I've got a couple of tables in Ag. I think I've got one in the Energy schema. If you have columns that contain PII and you need additional data privacy, Fivetran allows me to hash at the column level to achieve that complete anonymization of the data in that column. Still can use that column in the downstream analytics workflow. We'll maintain a column key. Any PII data though stays private. It's not persisted over to Databricks. All that's left now is to let Fivetran know how you want to handle incremental changes that happen in your Postgres data source. I can allow all, allow some, or block all. That's it. We're ready to start the initial sync. No coding, no development time. Very fast, simple, and self-serve to set up Postgres to Databricks, any pipeline at any time. While that connector is performing the historical sync on the ag and energy schemas, let's take a look at the top nav in the Fivetran UI. Logs will provide you all the detail about what Fivetran is doing in the background as a pure SaaS solution. You can see all the API calls, queries, and tasks. The schema tab allows me to make any changes to my data set. We have a couple of options on table sync mode. We default to soft delete, that's standard for analytics use cases, but you can also go with history mode if that fits better for you. This Postgres connector is brand new, but you'll start seeing usage data show up in about seven days to get a sense for the consumption based on change volume for this connector. Historical syncs in the first 14 days of incrementals are always free with Fivetran. The Setup tab allows you to adjust your sync frequency, plus a few other things. Fivetran's standard SaaS connectors go down to a five-minute polling time. HVA, high-volume agent database connectors, are one-minute polling. And Fivetran LDP is continuous polling for incremental syncs. I'm going to swing back over to the status page, and it looks like our initial sync is complete. If we check the last one hour status, you'll get a glimpse into some of the metrics, including extract, processing, and load times and volumes.
I'm gonna go out to the Databricks Data Explorer. You can see the new ag schema along with the California wine and coffee tables that were automatically created by Fivetran. Fivetran's gonna manage any schema drift, including DML or DDL changes and updates from here on out for you. As a source changes, you always get a faithful one-to-one -one representation of that source data in Databricks for all Databricks workloads. You can see the commodity code here that we hashed in Fivetran. Remember, I can still use that column for my analytics and data apps. Keep in mind that Fivetran's normalization process provides an organized and understandable data set in the Databricks bronze layer. It's ready to go for additional processing or enrichment. Got a request about 10 minutes ago for a view into average trading volume for coffee. Today, I'm gonna to use Preset, a third-party analytics and BI solution that easily connects into Databricks. By the way, you can use Partner Connect in Databricks to connect to Preset, do the same with Fivetran. To get this visualization going for coffee trading volume, I simply select my Databricks database in the schema, choose Ag, along with the table that I want to build a visualization on. I'm a fan of the big number chart in Preset. It's simple, but nice, it's easy to read, it gets the job done. We're grabbing a live data set in the bronze layer in Databricks, and it's just a drag drop for my coffee volume to the metric field. I need average trading volume, and I get that along with the trend line. Think about what it would take to build a data pipeline from scratch. Design it, build it, test it, deploy it. I've got to document it, automate it, maintain it, and then refactor for edge cases. There is a ton that goes on in one data integration pipeline and a lot that can go wrong. Consider Fivetran the easy button for moving data into the Databricks Lakehouse. It's fully managed and fully automated end-to-end, -end, plus it gives you speed, self-service, security, and governance on all of your data flowing in. Give Fivetran a spin with our 14-day free trial. We took a quick look today at how Fivetran delivers simplicity, speed, and self-service data sets across data source types to the Databricks Lakehouse. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it.